Folks, we're not joking around this episode. Oh no. No, we're not shaving with one of these. We're also not shaving with one of these. To add to that, we're not shaving with any kind of futuristic safety razor. Nor are we going back to the 1950s with one of these, or 1960, double-edged safety razors. No, we're not even going back farther in time to a single-edged razor such as this, but we are going to use one edged blade today. That's right. I've honed it, I've stropped it, and I got it right here in this little leather pouch. The fine folks at Naked Armor sent me a straight razor. I know I've hinted at it and you all know it's coming and today's a big day. <laughs> I'm not nervous. I ain't scared. I ain't afeared to nothing, folks. I'm a little bit, a little bit nervous. Nah, I've been using it. I've been trying it. I've been practicing with this thing. I've been stropping it. I've learned to hone it. I'll show you that right now, the process of honing and stropping right now. I had to rig up that little strop there. It's on the uh, toilet paper <laughs> roll holder next to the toilet. You just kind of looped it on there. It, held, it worked, it worked. I'm not a fancy man, folks. You guys know that. And here it is. This is the Naked Armor. Let's see, is the Merlin Straight Razor. Polished stainless steel from the Naked Armor people. It's Japanese stainless steel 440C. So if that means something to you, well then, you know, more power to you. <laughs> it says, it's so hard that if someone breaks into your house, you could grab the Merlin and defend yourself. As long as you've stropped it and honed it to a fine point. And why Japan? Because they make the best steel in the world. Have you ever heard of an American samurai warrior? No, I haven't either. But here it is, folks. The Merlin Straight Razor. This will not be my first time with this blade. So I have used it about maybe five or six shaves so far. Now I haven't shaved, I didn't shave yesterday and I haven't shaved yet today. It's the middle of the afternoon. Actually, it's just before noon. So I got about, uh, you know, day and a half, almost two days growth, you know, to make it more interesting. Let me turn this off. It keeps doing funny stuff. My iPad over there. So I'm going to shave with this and the soap I'm going to use Not gonna be Barbasol this time. Not this time. I'm gonna use an old friend, an old standby, a, a, a brand and a soap that I know very well. This Margarita's in the Arctic from the Sterling Soap Company. I'm gonna use my synthetic brush with it because I know these very well. And the only sort of unknown is the straight razor. You see that? Look at that. I cleaned it. There's little water droplets on it. I honed it just a second ago. That video was just minutes ago. So it should be ready to go. Am I ready? Are you ready? Let's do this. I took a, sh took a shower, did my hair, put some water up on my face like I always do. Let's see how this goes, folks. All right, margaritas in the Arctic. Let me get my brush wet down here in my little emetic basin. Maybe too much water there. It's all right, let it go in the sink. Do this over the sink, folks, so it doesn't make a big mess all over the place. If it does, blame it on your kids. Make them clean it up. <laughs> yeah, like my kids clean up anything, even if they make their own mess. That's all I do in this house is clean up messes. I'm a very tidy person. I'm too lazy to be OCD, but I'm very tidy. A place for everything and everything in its place. I'm stalling, aren't I? Am I, am I stalling? Okay, that's good enough. All right, put some more water on my face just 
to cushion the blow. Now, some of you might say, hey, he should use a pre-shave oil, but I don't use pre-shave oils or creams or anything. I'm, it's not my, not my bag, man. I'm just gonna shave like I normally would. As if I was use, using my Rockwell or the Fat Boy or whatever. Because if I'm gonna shave with something, I don't want it to you know, cause me to have some whole new routine. I wanna be able to shave like I normally would without thinking too much about it. Like I said, I'm a simple kind of guy. I don't have a ton of stuff in my shave den. It's really a shave drawer. I showed you that picture of it. My wife the other day was commenting, she was looking for like band-aids or something. She opened up that shave drawer and was like, oh my, look at all this stuff in here. And I said, I'm getting rid of it. I'm paying it forward. And I'm gonna keep saying that until I do it. So don't worry, it's coming. But I got some bigger fish to fry today. All right, enough stalling. Let's shave with a straight razor. Now, the technique, if you've never used a straight razor, you have to learn how to use it. It's, um, you know, with a safety razor, you kinda, you kinda know, you know? It's, you don't have to press as hard and that's kind of all you need to know compared to a cartridge razor. But with this, you have to be able to hold it a certain way. Like when it's folded up, you know, it's folded up like this. And then you'd think, oh, so you just do like that? Well, no, you actually have to kind of, you do this. And then you hold it like that, like a V shape. So, and also you have to be able to use your left hand when you're shaving the left side of your face, which is not easy. And it takes a lot of training. Now I probably don't have enough training to get a really great shave with this, but I'll give you my thoughts about it at the end of this one. You also have to angle it correctly. Now, some people like to put one finger in the front, some people like to do two. I like to do one, and then I kind of shift it around for wherever I need. I'm gonna start on the right side and go down and uh, talk to you as I do it, see how it goes. Now, you're supposed to pull the skin taut, and the hard thing is when you do this, see now my hand is, front, is in front of this eye, my dominant right eye, as I'm looking in the mirror over here. So it is more difficult, certainly, and more dangerous. As you saw from that picture where I sliced the paper, or that video, all right. It's, <laughs> it's, always the, it's always the first cut. There we go, okay. Now I turn the music down in the background. Somebody asked me, uh, is the music in the room with me or in another room? It's just in another room. It's just like a background, uh, a background hum. I don't want it to, uh, you know, get struck. You see me, see me shaking? See that? See the shake? Oh, it's, it's reality, folks. I'm actually not that nervous, but I do respect the blade. What am I doing? I'm like holding my, what am I doing? Once I get down here, you can't really hold your, your face, you just kind of kind of do this. Stretch your skin where you can. Now, you don't have to necessarily uh, get rid of the cream as much, you know, like you would with a, when you're doing with a, a normal safety razor, but I'm gonna wash it off anyway, just to, because when I go into harder parts to shave, like under my nose and my chin, I wanna kind of be able to do it right and see what I'm doing. It does allow you to get under your nose. Cause that thin blade. You got to get the angle just right. You gotta go like that and then kind of turn it down. Now I will say this. The first time I shaved with this razor it was straight out of the box. It was the steel was oiled and I figured Hold on. I won't talk when I do my chin. <laughs> I figured that it would be factory sharpened, right? And on that very first, shave, there was a lot of pulling and tugging on this first pass, which I'm not used to because Safety razor blades are, you know, micrometer thin. And this blade is not. You could never get a straight razor blade to be as sharp and as small and as thin as a safety razor. 
You know who I learned that from? Old Man Johnson. No, from uh, Charles Roberts. He was a mad genius of wet shaving. Unfortunately, at the end of 2015, he passed away. But he had a shop here in town. And I visited him when I first started learning how to shave with a safety razor. And I asked him one day, I said, well, what's the difference between a straight razor and a, you know, a safety razor blade? And he said, you know, I asked him, is this sharper? Is this better? He said, well, no, this could never be as sharp as a safety razor blade. And it stuck with me ever since. I'll uh, check out some of his YouTube videos. When I say he was a mad genius, he came up with the craziest terminology for like the most mundane things. And uh, most, most of the time when I would visit him, he actually shaved me once. He showed me how to use his products and he shaved me. I ended up getting cut all over the place. It wasn't, wasn't that great. I think, uh, yeah, that was a little awkward, but uh, it didn't hurt or anything. It was just like at the end, I was like, okay, well, it's blood all over my face. Oh my God, I escaped. Um, anyway, mad genius, interesting guy. We talked mostly about music and bands when I would visit him and then I would buy some products from him. Wet shaving, the Charles method, the Roberts method of wet shaving. Okay. There's one half of my neck and my face. No blood yet. Now, you have to switch when you're going down. You have to switch to your left hand and do the mirror of what you just did. And this is awkward. Can you hear that? Like I said, I turned the music down so that uh, you could hear the blade as it's doing its job. Because what I found, and here's, this is hard too. See, I'm trying to get to this area and my nose is in the way. So you just gotta kinda, it's like wrestling with it. I feel like I wrestle with this razor and with this method of shaving. And I gotta be honest, I don't wanna wrestle with my shaving implements. I want to shave. I want to get close. And I don't want to think about it too much or worry about it. There we go. There's the first pass. Now this is what I've learned as I've been using this thing. Um, and it's sharp. It's a sharp blade. Now, maybe I'm not honing it correctly. Maybe I'm not stropping it correctly. Maybe uh, someone that is more well-versed in this could, could show me where my errors are. But even with, with as sharp as it was, as I showed you in that video where I cut the paper, there is still a ton of stubble all over my face. It's as if I haven't even shaved yet. Now, I don't know if I'm not pushing hard enough or if the blade isn't sharp enough. But to be honest, I don't know if you can see or not. It's hard for you to tell. Some people claim I don't, what are you even shaving? But there is stubble all over my face still. It feels as if I haven't even shaved. So I don't know. So what you do is take a second pass. Let me wet my face again. Reapply to Sterling. Margaritas in the Arctic. Now, I didn't want to use the blizzard shaving soap because there is so much menthol in that that my eyes water like I'm crying. So I wanted to be able to see what I'm, do what I'm doing. Now, there's no razor burn right now. I haven't cut myself. And I feel like I'm using enough pressure. Maybe I'm wrong. Now here's what you do when you, I'm gonna go across the grain. And so when you go across the grain, you use your right hand on the left side of your face. Now, having said that there's a lot of stubble left right now, the sec, are you getting nervous to me waving this around my face? <laughs> or is that just me getting nervous? Um, it, it's easier, second pass, because you have taken it down some. So I'm just gonna go across the grain like this. 
try my best. You can hear it, but it, going like this, because that's not the way my uh, my stubble, my beard grows, it actually is a little harder. So sometimes, as I've been doing this, I'll kind of like go at an angle instead of straight across, just to try to trim it down. See, it's still pretty stubbly there. I think my point is, is you just can't get as close a shave as easily and as quickly with this as you can with this. Because the blade is so much sharper, especially if you're using feather blades or even the Bix I've been using. For some reason, this side is a little bit easier on my left hand side. Get the angle right. I don't want to press too hard because I don't want to be like Al Pacino and Scarface, you know what I mean? Um, I'm just going to go down again under my lip. Pardon me if I'm not as talkative during this one. I'm really having to, and that's something else. I'm not able to, I had to concentrate more. I'm kind of doing this from a couple of different angles just to see how well I can, you know, get, get, the, uh, get the stubble down, you know, get the beard off. How well I can cut the whiskers, how close. As much as I wanted to be able to enjoy this, I mean, not that it's ever been like some big thing I wanted to do, but I wanted to try it because you see so many guys doing it. And I don't know if they're getting a better shave than I am. Now, here's what you do. I'm going to go up against the grain. I don't know if they're getting a better shave than I am or if I'm doing something wrong. I've been trying at different angles, different pressures. But it's just catching, like all that right there. It's like it's bumping and catching it and not cutting it. Sharpness? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna, oh, so you can, if you want, when you're going against the grain or like a, 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 up, up against the grain, you can you can then straighten it out so it's more like a cutthroat kind of thing. Maybe I should stretch my skin out more to make the whiskers pop out. But as soon as you get around the jawline, you start to get a little more nervous, you know, because it's like coming at an angle. And you're wanting to go around that angle, but you're also wanting to get everything. I hate to be uh, see it right here. Hmm. Spoiler alert: <laughs> This style of shaving is not for me. I don't think. I think there's a reason why people stopped using this when these kind of razors started coming out because it was better. You get a better shave. It's more safe. It's way less work. I mean, if you had to strop it and hone it and keep it, you know, all that stuff, that is such a pain. And you got to buy the sharpening stone. You got to buy the strop. It's a whole layout of expenses that are unnecessary now. I think we've just moved past this. This, people do this because it's cool, right? Because you feel like you're like in an old timey movie when you saw the guys out on the Civil War battlefield, you know, getting, getting ready and they were shaving themselves in those little round mirrors. And it's cool, right? It is cool. It's manly. It makes you feel like, wow, I've really done something. But the technology has moved past this. 
This is the covered wagon of shaving. And this, even though it's as old as it is, you know, turn of the 20th century, they got it right. They got it right. They did it right. I'm trying my darndest just to get this chin area. It's just not doing it, man. This is all... I mean, it's a little bit better now, but it's still, if you, if you felt, feel my face, you feel it? It's not even close to smooth. And like I said, I'll take all the blame. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe this isn't sharp enough. I could take it to a knife sharpening place in town and have it just be as sharp as you can get something like this, like a professional, you know? But I think even then, as Charles Roberts told me years ago, this could never be as thin and as sharp as one of these. Just can't do it. This is thick steel, you know, the edge, no matter how honed you get it. Plus it will lose that edge pretty quick, I would think. Should we do one more pass just for giggles? Or should we go to the, the old fat boy? Huh? What do you think? I'm gonna, let's see. I've been waiting for this. Right? You see me do uh, safety razor shaves all the time. And in fact, when the people at Naked Armor contacted me, they said, choose something off our website. And they have tons of double-edged safety razors. And I thought, well, I've got enough of those. And I've tried a shaveette before, but I've never tried a straight razor. And uh, the Merlin costs $119. So that's a steep, you know, and you don't get a strop or a, a, a honing stone with it. You gotta get that separately. You can get a cheap strop and a cheap stone off eBay, but I think if you wanna do it right, you gotta get good quality stuff. So it's just not for me. <laughs> I don't know if you guys thought that I would be like a convert or, uh, or what, or what I thought, I don't know. It's interesting, I'm glad I got to do it. I thank the people at Naked Armor who sent this really cool box and this little this little leather case to put it in. Mmm, it smells like leather. Um, thank you for the opportunity to try this out. It is cool. Um, actually, I would prefer, like as far as the design is concerned, I would prefer one of their wooden handled ones, just because I'm old fashioned like that. Um, so, but that's just my preference. I'm gonna go back down again, like the first pass, and just see if I can get it. See if I can get it closer, you know? That's better, but it's still a tiny bit of stubble. So, I hope you're not disappointed. I hope you're entertained. Are you not entertained? The passes do get easier as the whiskers get down, but it's just not. As efficient. In many ways as my beloved double-edged safety razors. It's more awkward. Certainly using your left hand feels more awkward. Plus you gotta mess up your hair if you do this a lot. <laughs> if you just gotten out of the shower and uh, done all this stuff get your hair just right, and then you gotta put your whole arm against it. Do your hair after, do your hair after. That's my advice. You know, you do feel kinda cool doing it. And you probably look cool. Not there's anyone watching me. There's no one watching me, Shay, that'd be weird. I mean, why would you 
watch someone shave. It's so strange. <laughs> I'm only joking. There is something kind of nice and therapeutic about watching uh, guys and girls shave. I say girls, because if you've never heard of She Shaves with Jill, check it out. That's it. I'm going to wash my face off now. I'm going to fold this up. You need to dry it off when you're done. So I'm just going to put it aside. I'll dry it off in a minute. I'm going to get some cold water on my face. I do love the smell of that margaritas in the Arctic. I think that's got to be my favorite. My favorite. <laughs> hey, coined a term. It's going to be a new segment. Sinatra Linen's Shaverits. That's my <laughs> favorite solid shaving soap. And I love the scent. That lime, margarita, orange scent. Okay, let's get a final rundown of the feeling here. This is lots... I could, If I took my safety razor now, I could do a pass and like completely clean it off. And be, you know, great. I'm not going to do that this time. I need some aftershave. What am I going to do today? What's going to... The old favorite. Osage rub. Now, I heard Ken Surfs pronounce it Osage. Is that just because... Is that just fancy talk? Or have I been pronouncing it wrong? I thought it was Osage like the Osage Indian. Of course, it could be the Osage Indian. Let me know in a comment. Oh, mmm. Good stuff, man. <sighs> Whew. Now I can relax. I've been, uh, I've, I wouldn't say I've been worried about it, but I've been thinking about it, and I've been hoping that I wouldn't cut myself. I didn't cut myself once. I didn't cut myself once. I'm so proud of myself. I did cut myself earlier, I think on an earlier video, I did a pretty nasty little, you know, slit right there. Not this time, not the time it counted. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, I'm gonna have to do like two or three versions of this and like only release the good one. But this was it, this was the only one. This is the only one I filmed. Ooh, that Osage rub is tingling. Oh. Well, straight razor shaving is outdated. This is my opinion. If you like doing it, more power to you. I always say that. I always say use what works best for you. And if you prefer this over anything else, great. If you prefer this in conjunction with other things, great. But I'll, I'm going to keep this. And um, maybe I'll bring it out again later if I you know, learn more or uh, uh, get more knowledge from, from you guys in the comments or something. Maybe you noticed something I was doing wrong. I feel like I was doing everything right. I feel like I watched enough videos. I feel like I honed it fairly well, stropped it enough, did the right angles, the right pressures. I mean, I did three passes. And it's still stubbly. It still feels like about a, you know, five o'clock shadow growth. I know you can't see it. Feel my face, I told you earlier. Feel it, I'm, I'm not kidding you. Anyway, it's not for me. It's not for me. I'm gonna stick with the old Fancy double-edged safety razor. They got it right a hundred years ago, man. Now this one, this Gillette from 1918, it's 101 years old. Happy birthday, old boy. You done well. All right. Well, that's it, folks. My gosh. I feel like I should do something else. It's been almost 30 minutes. That's a long one. I think we should have a depressurization talk, like maybe, um, maybe Friday night or Saturday night. I'm gonna release this on a Friday. It's actually Thursday, because like I said, I thought I might have to film it a few times. <laughs> I thought I might have to go to the ER for a blood transfusion, but I did okay. I did all right. I wish I could say the same for the, uh, the straight razor. It did fine. It did fine. It looks cool. It seems cool. It is cool, but it's just not for me. So the next shave I'm going to do is going to be back to the old friends of mine, the old grungy fat boys. <sighs> Can't go wrong with that stuff. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it was really an interesting experience for me. So thanks to the people at Naked Armor again for sending that to me. And um, that's it. See you next time.